Today, what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at Hyper-V and Docker on Windows Server. We're going to create a Hyper-V virtual machine. We're going to use a dynamic disk to do that. We're going to use a bit of Windows Admin Center as well to actually do the administration. Then what we're going to do is we're going to install Docker via PowerShell onto a Windows Server operating system. And then we're going to run Nano Server on top of that as a Docker container. This is actually running Docker inside the context of Windows without having to install WSL to actually get this work. Working. So we're going to use exclusively Windows containers here, and we're going to use Hyper-V to actually get those containers to actually run and execute. I have here three servers. I have a server called ADM1. This server is going to be an admin server. It's going to have all my remote admin tools that I'm going to play with. We also have a server called SVR1. This is going to be our Hyper-V server. Uh, this already has Hyper-V pre-installed on it, but we're going to create some virtual networks. We're going to create some virtual machines, and we're going to add some Docker support onto our Windows server.